Good afternoon, YouTube family. How is everybody doing this afternoon? I hope that you're having a great Monday morning. And here we are bringing you your very first version of our Monday motivation. Today I'd like to start with some thoughts about how your day can be better, how your week can be better. So let's start with some questions to ask ourselves. How can I grow? What can I do to grow today? You can grow knowledge, you can grow plants, you can grow your family. What is it that you can do that at the end of the day you can say that was a good thing for today I gained something because gaining knowledge is helping to grow gaining a fresh tomato or strawberry or a friend or anything can be an added benefit to our day how can we grow today what can we do to make our day be a, a really great day by the end of the day what can you give what can you do for someone else today something as simple as giving them a smile passing by and just being kind to others when they might be having a horrible day smiling at someone who feels that nobody cares yeah some people and in fact a lot of people might think weirdo why are they smiling at me for but then you're gonna have that one person that's like that was kind that was really nice to them and they either smile back or at least they have a warm feeling in their heart because somebody actually cared enough to just have that little bit of a reach you can give by cleaning out closets or cleaning uh, giving away food that you have that you no longer need or maybe you buy a lot of stuff and you find that it's time to clean and get rid of stuff that you all these things you've got that are extra maybe you're not reading these books or you have tons of knickknacks that you just don't put up anymore and you don't really need they're just taking up space you can give those to a local charity give them to a friend even have a yard sale and have a giveaway table i know it might seem contradictory to have a table that's a giveaway table but it's not for the other people it's that feeling you get of knowing that somebody's taking something because you thought enough to want to just give it to somebody you might not know who might want something so that's the idea of having a yard sale or putting it somewhere where somebody can get it for free or for very little maybe take it to a local food pantry and they have clothes closets and toy closets where children can get items and people can get clothing and even pot, pan, pot and pan sets giving it to somebody that doesn't have something when you don't need it anymore it gives you more satisfaction gives you more happiness for yourself of knowing you actually did something to help another human being that that goes with the same thing as smiling or waving at people I'm not saying go on out look like a crazy person and start waving at everybody because then everybody's gonna think that you know oh she's a crazy person you know or why who is that why did they wave at me and but you're still gonna have that one or two those one or two people that are gonna say wow hey how you doing 
You might even make a new friend. But you don't know. Just that simple act of kindness can be doing something really amazing without you even really knowing. Another question, and you're going to think it's silly, but what can you celebrate? What is it that happens today for you? What are you doing? What has happened? What are you going to do? That you can say, I did that. That made today a good day. Maybe you walked an extra tenth of a mile. Maybe you just walked around the block or halfway down the block. I remember a time uh, about six or so years ago, we were in a really bad car accident and my husband wasn't able to walk at all, maybe, but from our front door to the walkway where the sidewalk actually started, which was about between 10 and 15 feet. By the time he would make it there and back, he was tired, he was exhausted, and he was in a lot of pain. And it took us a long time and a lot of short walks. But we celebrated each and every one. Yes, it makes you grumpy to think, why can I only go this far? You might be overweight. You might have had a car accident like we did. You might have had surgery. It could have been any number of things that are causes you to not be able to do something. And the fact that you're able to do it now, you're able to make that extra step. You're able to speak two minutes in front of your class or five minutes when you have high anxiety and just panic disorder and and you just know you're going to freak out but you get up there you take a deep breath and you talk for two minutes or you talk for five minutes and you got done with it celebrate celebrate the little movements that gives you something to really say I did that. I did that today. That's something that I accomplished today. So when you think about it, you grew that day. You gave that day. And you have so much to celebrate that day. Maybe your child lost a tooth. Maybe you were able to cut two minutes down on your commute time. Maybe the kids didn't fight on the way home. Maybe your day went free from any kind of hassle or drama from family, friends, or co-workers. Those are things to celebrate. Something to motivate you knowing that, hey, today was a great day. So that means tomorrow and the next day can be too. Let's continue to think positive. When you're thinking about what you're going to do, if you start start making a list of things that will make you happy, what will make your dreams come true? Go big. There is nothing wrong with going big with your dreams because all your dreams can come true. It just starts with one step, one movement, one word. It all can be done. You got to start out by knowing what you want. Knowing where you want to be and where you want to go in this life. You have a clear picture of those things. And then it's saying, I would like to. I wish I could. Replace those with, I am and then say, I am going to, I will have this, I will make 
that. I will run in a 10K marathon and then give yourself a time frame. That is something that you can work with it. Say you want to lose 10 pounds. Now everybody knows that in most cases it's very unrealistic to think that you're going to lose 10 actual pounds of body fat in one week or two weeks. Heck, it could be hard to do it in three weeks. Four weeks is an even better guideline. But if you're worried about failing, don't set yourself up for failure. Start thinking, okay, I'm going to go for either a half a pound or one pound a week. So what can I do to lose that weight? What can I do to get to that 10K marathon? It's in a year from now or six months and I can barely jog a block or two or maybe I can run a mile or walk a mile but I can't run a mile yet so set yourself up with a schedule to start working up towards that 10 miles or towards that 10 pounds towards being that CEO you're not going to become a CEO overnight, but you might be able to do it in a year or two. You might be able to work hard enough and set yourself up for goals, realistic goals for whatever it is that you're dreaming of having and doing. It can and will happen for you, but you have to believe it and you have to stay positive. You have to remember also what are your priorities those your priorities are gonna be what helps make your dreams come true is your family important is having a farm important is owning your own home important is your children going to Harvard or graduating high school important what are your priorities and then rank them from the most important and include in those priorities spending time with your loved ones walking away from electronics your phone the computer uh, any form of electronics the games that they have out here even mp3 players and spend some quality time together talk to each other and find out how did their day go maybe play frisbee or play ball or go to a ball game or go outside and take care of the animals together learn something instead of just watching and reading now as much as i'm glad that y'all are here listening to me and watching my video I also want you to put action into your day and I want you to make sure you put importance where it belongs you know if you don't have a spouse you don't have children but for you your importance is making sure that you get up every morning on time so you can make it to work so you can do a better job so that you can get that raise so you can get that promotion then put your focus on those things and make sure that each one is a priority for you get up early every day if you need to five minutes ten minutes you want to work out in the morning before your kids get up get up an hour early give yourself time to not only work out but maybe take a shower so you feel relaxed and ready to attack the day if you want to make it to work and just be in a really good mood but you know you're gonna need five minutes to yourself set your alarm clock for an extra 10 or 15 minutes early get up get ready or start to get ready and give yourself 
that few minutes of peace that you feel that you need. If that's something that would drive you, that would help you have a better, better day. Remember that success in life, it's a journey. It's not going to be a destination. It's not going to be once you make it to that 10 pounds, once you make it to that 10K, once you become that CEO, once you become a wife or a mother, that's not going to be the end. That's not going to be your final destination. That's just the beginning of your journey. That's just the edge, the touch of the iceberg of your life. Then you've got to decide, okay, now what's important in my life? Now that I have this, what do I want to do next? We're going to do it in baby steps. We're going to do it where you slowly work yourself up to finding the happiness for yourself. You need to live for today. You need to remember what's important and the priorities in your life. You need to remember to celebrate and be thankful every day. And you need to remember to dream big. Imagine what your perfect day your perfect week, your perfect month, your perfect life would be, and make it happen. Don't say what if, or maybe, or might. Say it will happen. I am going to. This will be. Today, I want you to focus on being happy. I want you to have a great day. I want you to have a great week. You will have a great day and a great week. Believe it and it will be. Even if everything seems to be falling down in front of you. There will always be something to celebrate. To be thankful for at the end of the day. I hope that you've enjoyed my message today. I will be back again on Way Less Wednesday and Thankful Thursday. Hope to hear from y'all. Leave your comments uh, and suggestions if you want to hear me speaking about different topics. I will do that. I will reach out and talk to you about whatever you want to hear. I'll be here every Monday to help motivate you to have a better day, to have a better week, to have a better life. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being loyal uh, subscribers and listeners. And from our home to yours, we love you and we hope you have a great week. Thank you.